Sun's out, summer's around the corner, and I've got 10 summer stunners to recommend to you. Stay tuned. So I'm actually in the beautiful Lake District here in the UK. I found this little babbling brook and I thought this rock right here would be the perfect place to sit down and tell you about my top 10 summer fragrances. So these are the fragrances that I'll be rotating through this summer to keep me smelling fresh and clean. Okay, we're kicking off the list with a cheapie. Some of the best cheapies are from Zara and this is Zara Vibrant Leather Summer. So this one doesn't really have much of a connection with Vibrant Leather, which smells a bit like Creed's Aventus. This one has more in common with Dior Homme Cologne, so it's got those fresh, clean citruses, but this one has uh, the addition of a zingy ginger note. So very much like Dior Homme Cologne, similar performance as well. It's fresh, it's cool, it's invigorating. This usually retails for £10 for 120ml. At that price, it's an absolute steal, especially if you like Dior Homme Cologne. I did have a look prior to filming this video on Zara's website. I couldn't see this fragrance. Maybe they're going to bring it out again for the summer. I'm not sure. You never know with Zara and whether they've discontinued something, whether they release it with a different name, but it might still be available in store. Just have a look, but if you can come across Vibrant Leather Summer, well worth a sniff. Okay, if you like to look cool and smell cool in the summer, we can go one better because you can smell glacial with Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. As you would imagine, this is a cool, clean smelling fragrance. There's some juniper berries and ginger. Ginger always gives a fragrance a nice invigorating quality. And it has this really clean gin and tonic accord, but also there's a really pleasing woody warmth, which contrasts really well with the cooling notes. It's a funny one this, because even though it does lean towards slightly generic designer type smells, there's just enough about it to keep me interested. So. It's a very mass appealing fragrance. I think this would work really well as a summer daytime signature scent. So I included Terre d'Hommes in my spring list. I think that actually works really well in the summer as well, but this one works even better because Terre d'Hommes isn't quite as fresh as Autre Fresh. So this is a flanker to the original, Terre d'Hermes. So you get that orange vibe, but you don't get the vetiver. So I'd say that this one, whilst it's a bit fresh, it doesn't quite have as much depth as the original, but this one has more of a refreshing, watery type smell. So definitely more of an aquatic scent than the original. This reminds me of orange ice lollies that my mum used to make for me when I was a kid. She'd somehow get some orange juice and I think probably mix it with water because they were never quite as sweet as the ones you could buy from the shop. Just not as much sugar in there. Mum always looking out for that sugar intake. Anyway, on a hot summer's day, I didn't mind. I loved them. And this sort of reminds me of that because it's orangey, but it's not overly sweet. So it's got a nice sophisticated feel to it. So if you like Terre de Mez, but you're looking for something maybe a little fresher for the summer, try this one. If you like your citrus just a little bit sweeter, you might want to try Chanel's Allure Edition Blanche. So with Allure Homme Edition Blanche, you get that lemon freshness, but you also get this creaminess from the vanilla and the sandalwood. So you get these creamy lemon vibes. This is a very sexy fragrance. Compliment factor is high on this. I think it's a great summer scent. You could wear it day or night. You get Chanel's quality with a modern cologne appeal and that sexy Allure DNA. This is a must have summer staple.
Okay, so if you want a fresher version of one of the best iris scents you can get, Prada Lom Low. I'm a big fan of the powdery iris of Prada Lom, but with this one, you add some juicy citrus, some bright neroli, and you have a slightly more invigorating version of the original. And personally, I like the addition of these brighter, summery notes. I think they give the scent profile a bit more character than the original, so I do slightly prefer this one. If you're looking for a bright and invigorating summery scent that has that modern powdery iris, Prada Lom Low is an excellent choice for summer. This next fragrance has been on every summer list video I've ever made. I just can't not include it because I love it so much. It works so well. It's Dolce Gabbana's Light Blue O Intense. So this has got beautiful citrus, salty marine notes and sensual musks. This is just quite simply one of the best oceanic fragrances that I've ever smelled. It transports you right there. What more can I say? Sexy, salty, citrus, essential for the summer. Okay, I've got another summer masterpiece for you. I'm banging them out from Tom Ford. This one is Neroli Portofino. If you're not sure what Neroli smells like, just smell Neroli Portofino. It is one of the nicest Neroli fragrances I've ever smelt. It's got this slightly fruity, white floral vibe about it. It's clean, fresh, classy stuff from Tom Ford. This is sophisticated summer in a bottle. Guess what? I've got more sexy iris for you, but this time it's richer and even more sensual. This is an absolute stunner from Dior. It's Dior Homme O for men. Apologies, I don't like including fragrances that are discontinued and that are hard to get, but this does seem to keep popping up. So I think if you're lucky, you still might be able to get your hands on this. Take that distinctive crowd-pleasing iris from the original Dior Homme, add a bit more citrus freshness and then some rich, sensual depth. This fragrance just works well anytime actually, but for me, the ideal time to wear this is on a summer evening when you're dressed to impress, when you want to impress, you've got to see if you can get your hands on this. The next one is one of the classiest, most sophisticated, well put together oceanic scents on the market. It is Aqua Di Gio Profumo. I gotta be honest, it took me a little while to get beyond the hype on this one. It was so hyped. I'd seen this in so many lists that I was a little underwhelmed when I first sprayed it, but I kept on wearing it. And over time, I started to appreciate it more and more. And now it's got to the point where I adore this fragrance. I love this for the summer. It's got these punchy sea-like notes, some herbal accords in the heart, almost piney, and then some sweet incense. Beautifully, beautifully done fragrance. It's assured, it's confident, so I find this to be quite an empowering scent. If you want to smell extremely well put together and sophisticated on a summer's evening, Alberto Marias has made this for you and it needs to be tried. Do me a favor though, wear this. If you don't enjoy it at first, keep on wearing it, get past the hype, and I think you'll start to enjoy this truly fantastic scent. So as much as I really love Aqua Di Gio Profumo, if you want something similar, but that just steps it up a little bit more, just increases that quality a little bit, then you have to try Tom Ford's Costa Azura. For me, this is the richest, most complex, most nuanced fragrance on this list. It's got all the summer good stuff, citrus, marina chords, some punchy herbal notes, all blended in an impressively smooth way. This is one of those fragrances that used to be in the more expensive Tom Ford private blend, but now it's trickled down into the cheaper signature line. So you can have a private blend smell for a price that is lower. And I think it's really worth it. This is a bold, assertive fragrance. If you want to make a statement, if you want to get noticed this summer, I think you should try Tom Ford's Costa Azura. So there you go, 10 superb designer fragrances for the summer. These are the ones that 
I'm going to be rotating through the most along with my summer niche fragrances make sure you stay tuned for that list and then maybe some other summer fragrances that I'll find to wear so let's hope it's a, a good summer shall we let me know what you thought of my designer fragrance choices and I'd love to hear what your favorites are because if I've not tried them there are probably still some that I would like to add to my collection so please drop me some recommendations so I hope you enjoyed this location this gorgeous little babbling brook here in the English Lake District it's so peaceful I could just sit here for hours listening to this water in fact when I turn the camera off I think I'm gonna do just that Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good, and I'll see you in the next one.